Hey everybody, this is Brandon with Phase Shift Digital Marketing. We're an SEO agency here in the Northwest. And uh, I came across this new SEO tool. Actually, I don't know if it's new or not. I think it's kind of new. It's called, uh, from a company, Mangools or Mongols. I'm not sure where they got that word from. Uh, but uh, it's a pretty sweet tool for, as, uh, from my testing so far. Um, so if you're, if you're into SEO, obviously you have a tools. There's a lot of them out there. Um, the one I use most of the time is um, serp.net uh, or OMG Command Center if you are with One Man, machine, uh, one man Gang Machines, that group. Uh, but uh, yeah, this one, I've been testing it and it's pretty awesome. So I just wanna show you what it does. There's basically four main parts of this tool. Uh, there's a keyword research tool, there's a search engine page results analysis, um, backlinks and rank tracking. Uh, so you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and demo each one of them for you and uh, just see what it does. So I'm already logged in here, so I'll just jump into my dashboard. All right, so here's, the, here's your dashboard and uh, with most SEO tools, you know that there's limits based on how much you pay in per month. Uh, so this is no exception. Uh, this, the one plan I'm on right now is the equivalent of the premium plan. Uh, I'll go into price and stuff in a little bit. But I just want to show you that this is uh, um, it's pretty hefty. I think this is plenty uh, for the work I do. So yeah, I'll just start with the keyword finder. Uh, keyword finder is uh, I've heard of this one before. I came across Mangools. Uh, I've used it a little bit, but it's uh, I, I think it's fairly well known in the SEO community, so I just want to demo it for you guys. So yeah, you just uh, go ahead and figure out a keyword you want to go for. So since I do uh, local SEO, you know, I'm SEO consultant, let's just say that I have a chiropractic chiropractor that I uh, want to you know, do recess SEO, reach, SEO re research for, keyword research. So there's three different ways you can do it. Um, keyword suggestions, kind of like uh, Google AdWords, uh, keyword tool, uh, autocomplete, which, uh, maybe you're familiar with, I'm sure you're familiar with, with Google, right? If you start typing in stuff, it'll tell you, you know, what other people have been typing in some awesome, some suggestions, and then questions. So we'll just start with suggestions. You can, we'll, I'll show you what the other ones do in a little bit. So I'm just going to try this keyword, um, change it to the place. Obviously I'm, I'm in the United States language. I'm just gonna leave that. So we'll see what it, what it does. And first thing I'm impressed with here is the speed. Like it, uh, I use uh, Serpent.net and it takes a while sometimes. The, the servers are in the UK, so that's kind of annoying. Uh, I like how it's snappy and it quickly came up with some stuff. So, so yeah, just going over what we see here. Um, so it, I like how it gives me how uh, analysis of how difficult this keyword is. Um, and one thing that's cool about this is the interface. It's just really beautiful. The user experience here is really great. The colors, um, there's some really useful information here. Uh, so on the left here, it figured out a bunch of keywords, you know, related. And, you know, it tells me some information like the trend in the last 12 months, how many searches, the cost per click in, ad, in Google AdWords, uh, level of competition in pay-per-click. And then this is a proprietary uh, algorithmic uh, thing that they do. So it tells you, uh, overall keyword SEO difficulty. So, you know, colors, and then it gives you a number one through a hundred pretty useful. Um, so what I want to do, and then over here on the right underneath, you can see like for this keyword, like who's ranking on page one, you know, we got Yelp and it gives you some basic, um, metrics, you know, we got Moz, uh, Moz rank and, uh, yeah, social, Pretty useful stuff. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is, let's say I like some of these keywords, I'm doing research for a client. I wanna find all the keywords they're gonna rank for. So one thing, I could just check this and just get grab all these keywords. And as you see here on the bottom, it gave me quite a bit. There's 477 of these, um, which is cool. Um, but what I'm gonna do is, I only want the ones with Portland in the name. That's the city we're close to here. So I'm just gonna grab, um, Portland. Another thing you can do, there's a filter, which is pretty cool. So you can say, you know, I don't want keywords underneath under 50 searches. 
uh, include keywords. So I'm going to want anything with Portland in it for sure. And I already tested this out and I know it did Portland, Maine in here. So I don't want Portland, Maine in there. Little did you know there's a city called Portland in Maine. So I'm going to get rid of those, set the filter, and bada bing. Now we got much more relevant search results here. I'm just going to grab all of these. And um, this is cool. Uh, this tool actually has a way to add it to a list. So I'm going to just call this a list. I'm going to call this Portland Cairo. I'm going to create a list and add the words. Uh, one of the things I've used this in the past too is you can export it to uh, Excel or you can copy it to a clipboard so you can put them into something else. So, so yeah, autocomplete. Uh, you just run that search too. It'll kind of give you some autocomplete suggestions. I don't think this is going to work with Portland Chiropractor, but maybe we'll see what happens. This takes a little bit longer as you can see. Um, all right, getting there. This is actually the longest I've seen it take. I mean, it's pretty quick most of the time. Almost there. Maybe there's more than I expected. Yeah, so Portland Chiropractor. So it gives me some other, looks like mostly cities and stuff. My keyword metric was not processed. So then there's questions. So let's test this out. Like, what's a question? Why do chiropractors? Let's see what it does. There you go. So some of the questions, so this would be great if you're doing uh, content. That's probably how I would probably use this. Uh, why do chiropractors? So some of the related terms, how many years do chiropractors go to school? Wow, 27 bucks for that people are paying for clicks. Probably, uh, you know, chiropractor schools. How many chiropractors are there in the United States? You could grab these two and add them to the list. So, so there you go, there's the keyword finder. Uh, pretty awesome actually. Um, now I'm going to go to the next tool, SERP Checker. I think it's running a little bit slower because I got the, I'm recording. I've seen that. All right, so this tool is just so you can see all the competitors. It gives you a little bit more detailed, like the keyword research, the keyword finder tool gave you a little bit of information, but this is much more, much more information. So. Uh, this uh, uses Majestic. So we have the uh, Moz statistics in here, but we also have um, trust flow or citation flow from Majestic, which is if you're SEO, you're familiar with. Trust flow is uh, a very good metric um, for determining the health of a site, and how powerful it is, in addition to domain authority and page authority. So yeah, I just put that in here. You know, it gives me how easy the keyword is. Um, this is interesting. So the impact of SERP features. So I think that's like the AdWords uh, map pack, as you can see here. So it kind of gives you like a, a diagram, like a frame of what this page looks like. And if you really want to look what it, the actual page looks like, there's a button up here called Preview Snapshot. So just hit that, and then it will open up a little frame. And then you can see if you were to search for this, this is what it would look like. So we got the map pack, and then we got you know your top ten page results there, results for that keyword. So. Pretty cool. Um, so yeah, this is great. You know, just kind of check to see what uh, you know what the page results look like. That's really all I have about this one. So um, just a little more robust than the last one. Uh, and then the SERP Watcher is the next one. I really like this one a lot. I think I'm going to use this. Um, so what SERP Watcher is for is is uh, for your projects. So if you have like a domain that you are trying to rank. You know, it will tell you, you can uh, track keywords for it and stuff like that. So um, I'm going to grab Chiropractor. I'm just going to grab for this, uh, just a, a website for testing here. Uh, I'm going to go with, da, 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 which one's my favorite? I'm going to do North Portland Chiropractic. That website needs some help. <laughs> All right, so uh, you put in put the track domain in here. Uh, location looks like they don't want you to use the www, so I will get rid of that. Uh, you can choose mobile or desktop if you didn't know. Those are uh, the rankings are going to look different. So, 
and you can put start putting keywords in here. So you know, Portland chiropractor, obviously that's one I would expect people would search for. But this is also cool. You can uh, you can add it. Remember how we made a list back in the keyword finder? So we can go ahead and add that list here. So and look at that, pretty cool. So you just put in all those keywords for me. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and what's the problem here? Valid format. I guess it's that. There we go. Let's try that. All right, so it looks like this is going to take a while, 30 minutes. I guess I wasn't expecting that. So I'll tell you what, I will stop this video, pause this video, and then I will come back in 30 minutes and I'll show you what it looks like. Hey, everybody. Uh, I'm back now and looks like the keyword rankings came in. So uh yeah so we got all these nice keyword rankings so i already sorted them uh by less uh, best rankings to least rankings and you can see it looks like they're number one for a few keywords it's great so if you click on these keywords um it'll show you some side information so it's kind of cool so like so if i click on this one here it'll tell you actually which page is indexed that's number one uh, it'll tell you how many visits. That's pretty awesome. Um, here, this is, it's not going to look as pretty right now because we just barely started tracking these keywords. But um, over time, this is going to turn into a graph. So just kind of give you an idea what it looks like. If you go to the demo. Um, so yeah, like, so it'll tell you, it'll start to look like this. So you can see as time goes by, it tells you the uh, index. This is slightly different, I think, but dominance index. Not actually sure what that is. But anyways, go back to my trackings. So yeah, this is the main page, by the way. So I didn't do anything for mobile, but all I'd have to do if I wanted to, I'd just say clone for mobile devices. Do that, say yes. Close. How long does it take? There you go. So should be available in less than 30 minutes. If you guys don't know, like when you start tracking keywords, sometimes it takes a while to get that information, especially if you got a lot of keywords. So yeah, so you just click on the site you're tracking. And by the way, you can you can do multiple sites. Um, so if I went back to that uh, right here, you can see how many sites I'm tracking. So, so I'm so I can tracking two, but you can add a new site right here. So you can track multiple sites. The mi maximum uh, for the plan that I'm on was 700 keywords tracked. So you could track one site for 700 keywords or two sites for 350 each, or one, you know, 10 sites for 50, whatever, you know. So. So yeah, um, that's pretty good, I think. 700, not bad. So yeah, dominance index. Kind of, I think this is says it, this index represents your organic traffic share based on current positions. So, so I think this is uh, the higher the better for this. But uh, that gets for the overall site. So then, it'll, like I said, it'll give you per keyword, and uh, after 100, you know, most people don't really care what page. In fact, you shouldn't really care what page after the first page, you know, because not many people are going to look at your site if you're on page two or three. Most people won't. So, all right. Well, uh, that is the SERP watcher. I'll go ahead to Link Miner. All right. So, Link Miner, this is a way to find backlinks uh, from your competitors. So I'm just gonna use this site as just a, a demonstration. So you just put the domain in there, and if you want, you could say one link per referring domain. Um, I like that because then, it, otherwise, if you have like you know, 20 links from one domain, it looks gets kind of messy. So I'm just gonna check that and go ahead and uh, yeah. So it's gonna pull up all my backlinks and can give me <clears throat> some metrics on like how good these backlinks are some of them are better than others it looks like it uh put them in order of citation flow which is great so this is my most powerful backlink as you can see so if i was a competitor i'd probably want to see this looks like uh uh could be a directory or some sort so i'd probably go on there and grab that uh backlink and then you can see their ranking for this key they, they use this anchor and they were number one for that one north portland chiropractor so doesn't surprise me you can also filter 
Uh, so you can go in here and you can filter, you know, by citation flow, uh, you know, whatever. So then uh, if I just want to see the do follow links, then I can do that too. Of course, you want to have a mixture of do follow and no follow if you didn't know that. Do follow links are definitely where your juice comes from, but it's unnatural to have only do follow links. So just so you know, a little SEO tip there if you didn't already know it. Active links. So some of these are dead. You can see it changed. Oh, and also really cool. If you click on these, as you can see on the right, it will show you, actually, I actually really love this. It will show you the page. So you don't actually have to click the link to go to a new tab. You can just see it right here in the window. I actually love that. That's awesome. And look, this is awesome. It tells you where the link is and highlighted it for me. Wow, this is awesome. So yeah, I really love this tool. So I'm I'm almost definitely sh I'm gonna uh, sure I'm gonna use this uh, based on this. So all right, guys. So that's the uh, the Mongols uh, SEO tools suite. There's full tools, keyword finder, SERP checker, SERP watcher, and then link miner. Um, to kind of give you an idea of what pricing is for this, let me just show you. So the one I'm on right now, uh, they let me test this on this plan. It's uh, 40 bucks per month, but uh, this is the actual the annual. So you save 40% if you buy for the whole year, which comes out to roughly 40 bucks a month. If you were to do this monthly, it would be more like 70 bucks a month. So to compare that to other SEO tools, um, I know Ahrefs is 100 bucks a month for their basic plan, uh, which is pretty expensive, but Ahrefs is considered like uh, cream of the crop. This is a really good tool though, and I would, I, I can recommend this tool if you are doing SEO, whether it's just if you're in-house at your company and that you're an SEO person, this would be a great tool. Um, you could probably get away with just the basic one here for 50 bucks a month or just annually, it's, you know, 30 bucks a month. So uh, yeah, and also I didn't, I failed to mention that there is a basic option, like lower, there's like a free option. It's very low, it's like five searches a day. Um, by the way, what this means, keyword searches per 24 hours. So, so for this plan, which is kind of the medium plan, uh, 500 keyword searches for every 24 hours. That's pretty good. I don't know about you. I could probably get away with this one. Depends on how big your agency is or what you're doing. But all right, guys. Well, I don't think there's anything else left. I have to say this. Oh, maybe I'll just say pros and cons about this. Uh, pros. I would say this tool is beautiful. Uh, I love the user interface. Out of all the SEO tools I think I've used, um, SERPstat, OMG Command Center, or SERPit.net, uh, those are the two main ones I really use. This is definitely the best one. Um, it's just beautiful, it's, it's intuitive, uh, and I love the speed. So I just click on things, and guess what? It just like takes a second and it gets me there. It's a little bit slower because I'm recording, I think. I've noticed that, but it's just awesome. Uh, so yeah, I'm definitely going to use this. Um, the one, maybe a con about this is uh, compared to OMG Command Center, uh, OMG Command Center has a few extra tools, uh, like they have a reporting tool that's really robust. Um, they have a way to search for expired domains and stuff like that, and that's, uh, it's 50 bucks a month that I pay for that tool. So I tend to use that but uh, for those things, but again, I, I want to just for basic like uh, client SEO research, keyword research. This is a fantastic tool. It's great for finding links. I just love the interface. So if I'm looking for links to, you know, for backlinks, I could just pop into the link miner there. And the SERP watch is really good too for uh, just finding out what my rankings are. It's really fast, um, much better than uh, OMG Command Center. So, so that's my review of this. Uh, I can definitely recommend it. I'll go ahead and put a link in the uh, description and let me know what you guys think in the comments. All right, have a good day. Bye.